What is up, YouTube? Long time no see. Um, if you couldn't tell from the title from above, we're about to make a Daredevil helmet. Let's do this. Woo! Here's a list of all the things you will need for this build. For this build, you're going to want a, some pretty thin EVA foam. Now, this is the foam I'm going to be using for this build. It's probably about 5 millimeters thick. Red and black paint, acrylic, or spray paint. A handy dandy heat gun. Contact cement. Exacto blade. Aluminum foil. And or plastic bag. Skizzers. Uh, duct tape. A uh, Dremel. Some disposable vinyl or latex gloves. A cast of a head. Um, also, for this, the first step you're supposed to do is with the head. What you do is you take your aluminum foil and you cover the whole thing with the aluminum foil. And then you take your duct tape and then tape over the aluminum foil and then you can draw on the tape to make your template. I'll leave a link in the description for a few videos that show you how to do that very nicely. And yeah. Here I've got the template already cut out and laid out into the foam and I've begun to trace it onto there and I try to conserve the foam and keep it all close together and all that fun stuff. Got it here, starting to cut it out. Try to be as precise as you can. It'll help it fit a lot better in the end, that is for sure. Going along with it. Never done a voiceover before, so this is definitely something else. <laughs> uh, here, I start to form the brows and the nose. Take a heat gun and get it on there to where it's really nice and soft. It takes quite a bit of time to get it to the shape that you want, but this is the shape that you're going to want it in right here. It took a little bit, but that's how defined you want it to be. And then what you got to do is take some contact cement and glue the outer corners of the forehead. And once you wait for that glue to dry for about 15 minutes, uh, you take it and you stick those little pieces on there. And every time you put glue on, make sure you wait 15 minutes every time. It's a long process, but it's totally worth it and helps the glue hold a lot stronger. Here I've got some really thin foam. I take it and put contact cement on it as well and on the inside of the front of the mask. Um, it help, I'm putting it on those little parts that we just glued to help it hold for when we put the other pieces on there. As you can see, I'm doing that right now. It's just more support and helps it hold and so it doesn't come undone. But as long as you wait for that bond, then it should hold great. Now for the second part, I heat it up and just Get it to shape. I try to curve it as much as I can. Make sure it fits nice and well in there. And I put the glue on on all the edges in the side on both pieces. As you can see, I've started putting glue on the very outer parts. And I do the same with the other one where the pieces fit. And when putting the pieces together, you want to start in the middle or the big middle flap is. As you can see, I've already got it on there. And then once you get the middle on, make your way to the outside and just keep going down until you got everything nice and flush. Well, we're getting there. <laughs> and then the next part, you just pretty much do the same thing. Put contact cement on the edges on both pieces and make sure you start in the middle and then just make your way to the outside. 
Exit C, start in the middle. Make your way to the outside and then repeat. And away we go. <laughs> now we've got our uh, last piece to go on. We've already got the glue, did all that fun stuff. Uh, putting it on. Make sure it's nice and flush. From the center, go to the outside. And voila. You probably want to heat up the bigger parts to give it more of a round shape because it will look kind of weird at first and if there's any overlaps as you can see all you gotta do is just trim them up with the scissors and then it'll look great now doing the brows you want to do the brows last connecting them because they're kind of a pain you have to do a lot of pinching and holding if because it's not a lot of surface area but if you do it right, it'll come out awesome. All right, so if the helmet's a little big on you, which mine is, if you can't really tell, a good way is to just push up, like on the cheeks, and then on the back, and then you can, f I can feel it like touching my back now, and I can feel it folding up on the sides a little bit right here. Um, a good spot, I think, to uh, like squish it in on your face more would be on this line right here. This one. I'm gonna cut it probably about right there and then just push it in and glue it on that line. <laughs> All right, so here I'm trying to find a good reference photo. I'm going to start drawing on the rest of the details and pretty much mostly uh, where the horns will sit. Um, yeah. So watch me do this and enjoy this song that I will also leave the link in the description below. Uh, it's on my SoundCloud at I'm Batman 454 all lowercase. There is no apostrophe in the I'm as well. Um, the song is called Digital Forest by Thomas VX. Here you guys go. Alrighty, so here I start with the lens area. It's not the exact lenses, but it is the part that is around the lenses. I used that really thin craft foam from earlier and pretty much just try to get the basic shape of it. I've got the, uh, I've got the template as well. So, don't forget to use those. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Just doing the other eye now.
and use the hot glue gun to glue those eyepieces in. And there it is. Look how beautiful that's coming out so far. And now we're going to do the slits that need to go on the back. And right here, I'm pulling up just evidence that the slits are there, <laughs> pretty much. So let's get those on there. For putting the slits in, um, you're gonna want to measure about six and a half centimeters from the seam of the very back and to the middle. Um, and you want to do that on both sides. And then for that line, I line up the out cor the outermost corner and that mark, and then just draw those little lines and make sure that they're even. And then to make those lines even more defined, I just graze the top of the foam to just get a little slit. And then take my heat gun on the lowest setting and just blow it over and you will see the foam heat up and just open right up. Just like that. Well, that's all I can manage to fit on this video for now. Uh, come back for part two very soon. Like subscribe, share, all that fun jazz, and thank you for watching, and I can't wait to show you the final product. Stay tuned.